Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the bearable ball here. And I got this aggressively average content for you today. As ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be reviewing how the Ripple CT, how the creator of XRP is warning not to sell your XRP. But first, I have to give you some context. Right now, in the crypto space, we're having a bit of a pullback. Bitcoin at 42200 And if we look over the past 24 hours, there is quite a bit of red. Some cryptos are down double-digit percentage points. But in my opinion, this is nothing but a healthy pullback. We needed it if we were going to continue on this bullish trajectory. And let me remind you, the BC backer posted this chart. We are in an altcoin season. And we're getting numerous analysts warning of the same thing. Here, remember that JD posted this golden cross pattern confirmed. And the last two times we experienced this, XRP specifically broke out aggressively. I can't stress this enough. We are in the right moment in time for the market to finally take off. And if you're not paying attention, you're going to miss it. Yet again, BC Backer is showing another chart confirming the inevitable, stating that in 2020, we were right about now in this specific setup where XRP then went on to shoot up 180%. And if you guys remember the Waters Above interview I had just a few days ago, XRP is going to reach a dollar before the end of year, in my opinion, in his opinion, and in the opinion of others. Most people are still bearish on XRP. But you watch the bearable bull because you're all perma bullish on XRP. This is the best digital asset ever created. And I can't stress this enough. Here, for anyone who remembers what happened in the 2017 bull run, you remember how special XRP's run was. 58,000%. From 0 0.002 cents to $3.80. It was a majestic rally, but I've been hearing a lot of rumors that crypto is likely to repeat a 2017 style cycle. And if that is in fact the case, then XRP is going to make it a lot more fun than the XRP army was prepared for. Ladies and gentlemen from Stone Pipes, he keeps seeing TA posts that run up similar to 2017 for Bitcoin. And if it's anything similar for XRP in that manner, then oh my goodness, we have a lot of ROI left. And the fact that we're still under a dollar now is absolutely lucky for you. Now, to get on to the title of the video for today, XRP's creator tells the story of selling too soon. And this is making people believe that Ripple CTO David Schwartz is saying not to sell your XRP. This was posted on the Moon Lambo channel just the other day. And the XRP community is speculating that David Schwartz is saying to not sell your XRP because he posted a story on Twitter talking about how he sold all of his ether to make repairs on an old home he had. And that home that he sold all his Ethereum for, he no longer has. And he stated on Twitter that that Ether would have been worth $100 million today if he never sold it. The reason I'm bringing this all, the reason I'm bringing this up to all of you is for perspective. That's what happens when you sell everything too early. Ladies and gentlemen, Completely selling all of your XRP, I think, will be a mistake. But not selling any XRP at all will also be a mistake. It's about averaging things out. 
It's about having a plan, both short term and long term, and understanding what you hold. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people believe David Schwartz is saying not to sell all your XRP because back in 2021, in April, when XRP was almost $2. David Schwartz posted on Twitter that if you had generational wealth or a lot of profits in crypto, you should sell some to make sure your life improves. This is so important because a lot of people believe David Schwartz sends out warnings to the XRP community. And this may be one of those moments where David Schwartz is warning not to sell too much too soon. I cannot get into the mind of David Schwartz and say with 100% certainty what it is he means when he posts. But all I can say is, there happens to be a tendency around some of the words this man states. And all I'm doing is putting this information in front of you so you are aware. Selling all of your XRP too early, I 100% guarantee you will absolutely hurt if XRP hits much higher values than where you sold it at. All I'm asking you to do is to have a plan in place and to be happy with the outcomes that you've strategized. Ladies and gentlemen, stay the course. We are in unprecedented times and that leads to unprecedented opportunities. Guys, to cap off this video for today, I'm going to leave you with ISO 20022 Let's Do It, showing this clip that states the unfathomable amounts of wealth set to enter the crypto space will be crazy to witness. And when the public sees the spike in price, there will be no more FUD. When the price goes up in crypto, interest compounds, people's wallets get loose, they want to keep buying the green, keep buying the green, and that is when we, us absolute savages, that is when we make money, when we profit, and when we become the new 1%, know the psychology of the market, in and out, and you'll be ahead of 99% of the population. When the public sees the spike in price, when things are convenient, when BlackRock is making marketing events, headlines, again, when this ETF gets passed, that's when the masses will be interested. But they weren't here for Terra Luna collapsing. They weren't here while FDX collapsed. They weren't here when the United States and Gary Gensler were suing crypto companies left and right. That's why they are going to get sold on. That's why we will be become the new 1%. And every single one of you will have earned it. And I feel no shame stating for every single one of you that we will have earned it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the bearable bull here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. Now I'll be back tomorrow with another video. I said, you said what, what will be the defining thing for the national level. I'm going to put it out there and say it's going to be spot Bitcoin ETFs, which are going to get approved. So you approve a BlackRock spot ETF, the biggest asset manager on the planet. You approve a, Sede a Fidelity spot ETF, the like oldest trading you know, institution in, in America and, and others. You create a massive liquidity into Bitcoin. You also create the, a, a pathway for people to just start, hey, I'm going to move a little of this. The bank's going, okay, we'll move some Bitcoin for you. You want to move a little out of here, move it into there, right? Your thoughts on how impactful that is for the Bitcoin space and then what that does for mining. So the one thing we're, we haven't talked about with spot, e, spot ETFs, which I think is going to absolutely change everything, is the sovereign wealth funds that are now going to have access 
to investing in Bitcoin. Um, that is massive money that we can't even fathom um, from Asia, from the Middle East, from Europe. Like these sovereign wealth funds have not been able to invest. Once the ETFs come, that'll be the start of it. Um, this is this is a amount of money that is going to change the price of the coin uh, without question. So um, I think I think it's very positive what we're seeing. I think the SEC being they're at the point where it's like they can't they can't hold it back anymore. It looks like um, it, it's uh, it's something we've all been waiting for. And so far, you know, we're on the right we're on the right path there um, that you're you're right. When when the public sees that kind of liquidity, when we see the the, the spike in the coin, I, I don't see how the the negative FUD can continue um, at the rate it, it is right now. Um, so it's, we just have to wait and see, you know.